Man, oh man, oh man, people are getting triggered by Sony not showing up at E3 for the upcoming E3. Sony doing a no show. Just being on the internet reading some of the comments, it it blew me away. People are really triggered about this, like down, down, deep in their hearts. This is really killing them. Why? <sighs> on a fanboy move, man. Wow, sir. But you gotta think about it like this. Sony not showing up at E3. Yeah, it kind of throws you off balance a little bit. They've been showing up at E3 for, what, 20 plus years? They don't show up this year? What could it mean? What conspiracy theory could be wrapped around this to be thrown out into the air for people to run wild with? I don't know. Honestly, and I don't feel like doing any uh, tin foil ad uh, scenarios, so I don't think I'm gonna go down that path on this one. I'm gonna just use a little bit of logic and uh, see where it actually gets me. But all jokes aside, Sony not coming to E3 this year could just mean they don't have anything ready and they don't want to show you what they've already showed you two years before already again. They got enough momentum going that they can haul out of this one. Or they can just take the simpler route. Pull a Nintendo. Do a Direct. Do something in clothes within your own Eternal Studios. Film something. Put some packages together. Throw it on the internet. Let the fans check it out. It'll be simpler. Nintendo does it all the time. And it serves them pretty well. At least for the direct fan base, it takes care of the needs and the wonders of what they think might be coming out. A lot of people feel like they've been betrayed by Sony not doing an E3 pop-up on them. Yeah, I can see that in some ways, but at the same time, if you don't have anything to show, why waste people's time? Especially if you're just going to hit them with the same package that you hit them with the year before. It saves money if you think about it in the long run, and it's not like... Oh, we're not showing up at E3 like they don't have anything in the works. It's Sony. They always have something in the background going on that you don't know shit about until it's damn near ready to pop out. And let's be honest, they do it all the time. The only difference is usually get hit with it at E3. Or like Gamescom or Tokyo Game Show. At the end of the day, I feel like if you really don't have anything to show, why show up and just, like I already said, just do a reiteration of a new cut trailer with a couple of extra scenes or something that you showed already. Why waste my time? If you're going to go that route, just, like I said before, pull a Nintendo Direct. Do your own little showcase package, turn around, throw it on the internet, give people the information they want. Or, who knows, it comes at that tin foil theory getting ready to hit you in the back of the head. Maybe they have some stuff in development for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. Well, we know they have stuff for PlayStation 4 in development. Duh. Maybe they got some stuff popping off for PlayStation 5. We probably won't see that for another year or two anyway, so. Who knows? But don't get all down and in your damn feelings over Sony not coming to E3. I'm pretty sure between the time of E3 actually coming around and any other major game event or convention or showcase or award show, because trust me, it's a lot of them, they, they'll give you something. Maybe they'll hook everybody up with a, a nice PlayStation experience showcase. Who knows? But if anything, if it was me, I'd just do a little uh, showcase throwing on the internet save some time and money. Because anything pushed out by now would probably be the only thing I'm actually would actually want more information on is probably uh days gone. The game that keeps getting moved around as far as the release date goes. That's the only other thing. Anything else that comes after that would be a pleasant surprise for me. Because I'm pretty much satisfied with what I have right now, gaming wise, and what's coming out game wise, be it first party or third party. A couple of third party items too, but that's another video, I'm not getting into that right now. But don't get caught up in the hype of doom and gloom. It's Sony. You always got another bullet in the chamber, ready to just pull it out and 
shoot your ass right in the rib when you least expect it. But it's a good wound. It'll patch up. It'll bleed a little bit. But it's a good wound. It'll heal. It's, it's a good scar so you can tell the story to your grandchildren how you got shot in the side by Sony being surprised by something. Who knows? <laughs> Otherwise than that, don't get caught up in the hype of this, because pretty much for me at this point, most E3s and things like that, I don't get hyped over them. I used to get hyped over them, like, oh man, it's coming. No, I just take it as it is what it is. They'll show me something, or they won't. Because you got to think about it, most of the times the things you get showed anyway are way off. Sometimes you get that little glimpse of... Oh, what's coming out sooner than I thought it was going to be, but it's development. It takes a long time to do these things. But that's about it. I can't think of anything else to uh, pull this video any other directions. Like I said, it is what it is. Don't get too caught up in the hype of people making videos. Oh, it's Sony's going down. Yeah, well, if they are going down, they got a long way to go before they hit the ground. But. <laughs> Otherwise than that, man, just uh, give it some time and see what happens. Let's see, three. You'll be distracted by enough news from other companies and new releases and a couple of leaks that end up being true and false or somewhere in the middle. Like every damn thing else that get leaks video game-wise and pretty much entertainment on the whole. But that's about it, man. Otherwise the net. Let me know what you think in that comment section below. And if you feel you've been triggered, go ahead and let it loose in the comment section. It's a safe place. It's your safe place. Let it out. Let the emotion out. But <laughs> otherwise than that, man, I will catch you all in the next one. All right, everybody.